I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> We're going into episode nine. And with all the, like, the emotional stuff that I was dealing with at the end of that episode, I didn't even, like, mention the fact that at the very end you see Tian's dad, like, finding out where he is and stuff. So he's probably going to turn up and, like, drag him back to Bangkok. <sighs> Man. I'm, like... I'm feeling really delicate right now. <laughs> We're just gonna watch it though. We're gonna watch it and, and get through it together. Huge plot twist, man. God, that episode was a lot. Episode 8 was a lot, man. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm good. <sighs> I do really like Torfin. Normally with any kind of LGBT show, I don't like women who are interested in like the the guys that are going to get together, but I really like her. She's so sweet. This whole time I've been so worried about Tien getting hurt that like the idea of something like this happening to the chief just like never occurred to me, man. I feel like I'm in shock right now. <laughs> I'm like trying to process it. That's so sweet. I love them so much. I know, that's like my favourite five words to say while watching this, but it's true. The Doc ain't surprised, he's known since episode one. He was out here giving the chief matchmaking advice to help him win Tien over. <laughs> So many likeable characters in this show, man. They're all so pure and so sweet. That is so adorable. I'm hanging in there. I'm worried about the dad turning up and dragging Tien away and the chief just dying at any second, but I'm hanging in there. I told you me you should have just told the doc. The, the doc should have been the first to know. I told you he felt guilty. Guilty and scared. But he's such a good person. Mm. 
ขาห้ามเยี่ยมอยู่อ่ะจีก็น่าไปโอเคพี่โมยให้ผมหายโกรธหรือเปล่าช่วยเร็วผมหน่อยได้ไหมหายโกรธพี่แล้วเนาะ Visitors are not permitted, <laughs> and then it just cuts to him like in the room, like Dr. Nam has got his fucking connections, man. I love it. That's great. Immediately breaks the rules to see him. The doc is a good friend, man. <laughs> มันเหมือนกับผมไม่ภาพเอาชีวิตที่ควรจะเป็นของเธอมาพี่ปูก็ยังสุดผิดนะขอบคุณนะหัวหน้าคนที่ดูแลผมดีขนาดเนี้ยรีบอื่นขึ้นมาได้เล่าผมรู้หัวหน้าแข็งแรงจะตายมีหัวหน้าอยู่ผมไม่เคยกลัวเลยรู้เปล่าเรียบตื่นขึ้นมาได้เล่าออเดินรีลี่เวลล์อันที่เขาพูดถึงเรื่องที่เขาไม่เคยรู้สึกกลัวเมื่อเขาอยู่กับเขาเขYou know what? Though I don't think Torfin would be upset and feel like Tien has like taken her life away, I don't think she would feel like that. I feel like if she could see him, she would probably be quite happy and proud of him. Mm, did he hear all of that? Ooh. I love that so much. He got to live a life, man. Hell yeah, you can do lots of stuff. Damn straight. And fall in love with a sexy ranger, but yeah, that's mostly it, yeah. We'll cover that later, Dad. Though, don't worry. Don't worry about that right now. การที่ผมได้ผ่าตัดเปลี่ยนหัวใจมันเป็นเพราะนามสกุลของเรามันเป็นเพราะเงินของพ่อของแม่ใช่ไหมครับจะมาพูดเรื่องนี้ทำไม
I feel like that whole conversation with the dad. I mean, you know, I I dislike the overbearing parents thing in these shows, like the the fact that these guys come across like they're like in their twenties, like at least nineteen, if not. 20, 21, whatever. Kua was definitely 20. They confirmed that. Um, they're kind of... In the UK, at least, they would be considered adults. And though you would still have a lot of contact with your parents and you might still be living with them, they wouldn't, like, get to completely dictate what you do and where you go. And, you know, they wouldn't be able to sell your car for you, for example. Stuff like that. Um, so I'm not a big fan of, like, the overbearing parents in these shows, and I don't like that people who are, like, 19, 20, 21 get treated like they're 15, 16, you know? It kind of frustrates me. Um, like, they get, like, that whole end conversation where he's like, I know I'll have to come home sooner or later. Like, as an adult, if he wanted to stay in the village with the chief and Karma and Yod and Rang and everyone, he could. Well, I don't know if he could because overbearing parents and it obviously works differently in these shows. But like from someone living in the UK and how real life works here and stuff, legally and like the amount of power that a parent has over someone his age, here at least, he could say, like, I'm not going home. I'm going to live in the village indefinitely and stay with the chief and everything. Like, he wouldn't have to go home if he didn't want to. So, I obviously get frustrated at that. But what I was going to say about the conversation with the dad is that, like, obviously Tian is quite angry that the entitlement that he's had and the money that the dad has spent and stuff like that has given him such an easy life and he confirmed what I was saying that like he's had it easy his whole life but actually since he's been here and learning to do stuff for himself and helping others he's actually happier and more fulfilled and he's actually getting to live a life rather than just like coast through it not doing anything and having things handed to him. So, you know, I was right about that at least. But I know Tien is like angry that the dad's money gets him so much. I do kind of agree with the dad though, that like you can't really expect a parent who has a lot of money to not want to do the best for their child. I I get that, you know, parents will always want to do the best for their children. Um so to say to him like i know i only got the transplant because you paid the money like of course the dad's gonna pay the money he's not gonna be like well i have the money but i'm not gonna do anything with it and i'm gonna let my son die he will absolutely do everything in his power to save his son's life and that that can come with money or it can come with power and influence and contacts whatever you can't get mad at him for saving his son's life like he's obviously gonna do everything he can so i'm not really mad at him for that and you know although it's kind of silly that he's grown up not being able to do anything for himself because that he's not had to do anything at all again you can't really be mad at it like the dad worked hard and got all this money so that his son could live a comfortable life and again you can't expect him to be like well no I'm not going to and you know I'm gonna let him have all these hardships and although it could have been better for him as a parent you don't do that you know you try to give the best life possible to your kids so I'm really not mad with the dad about like saving his life through money I would expect any parent to do everything in their power to save their child, so that doesn't surprise me at all. But yeah, I don't want him to go home. I want him to live in the village forever <laughs> and have his Stardew Valley happy ending. <laughs> I really thought the chief was going to die, I'm not going to lie. 
after they took out Torfin in like the beginning of episode one. Anything's possible in this show, right? Don't be cute right now. You're in trouble. Tian, think that if I help you, it won't happen. What will happen? I apologize. The matter of Tao Fan, I know the truth already. เราโทรตัวเองได้แล้วแต่แม้ว่าผมจะทำยังไงผมก็ไม่สามารถลบน้ำความผิดที่อยู่ในใจของผมออกไปได้อยู่ดีแต่ทอฝันเองอ่ะ
I like pressed the wrong button and it like rewound me <laughs> to the beginning of uh, beginning of part one. Yeah, I was wondering who was telling the dad, like keeping him informed and stuff. And I thought it was Doctor Nam. Oh, that traitor! Hmm, I don't like that. We have to find out what's going on with that immediately. Um. Yeah, I was just gonna say before, like, <laughs> before I was hit with like that, I was gonna say I think it's just like my fate to hate the parents on all of these shows, man. They just they're they're so frustrating. They just keep getting in the way. Like, just go home and let your son like just live his life. It's just so frustrating to deal with. I I thought he was like turning up there to like warn the chief off and get him to send Tien home but it looks like there's some other shit going on there that we need to work through so we're gonna get straight into it and find out if the chief is being a traitor and this motherfucker had the audacity to get mad at Tien for keeping secrets oh. Oh. He looks pissed. <laughs> this has got to be after they get out from the hospital, right? Damn, he knows something is up. It is icy cold in this truck right now. Are you gonna tell him? Of course not. You gotta love the miscommunication and deceit in these shows. Maybe I'm just like hot headed, but I'm I wouldn't like keep this shit to myself. I'd be walking straight up to him going, What the fuck was that about? <laughs> I hate like the miscommunication though, like if he's not gonna say anything, you might as well just confront him. How else is it gonna come about, you know, and get sorted? Okay. Did you see that? He was like trying to stop and talk to Tian. He really knows something's up. Look. Oh, that was so sweet. It was just the softest little Tian. Like, please let me talk to you. He knows something's going on. That look that he gave the chief. <laughs> These looks they're giving each other. Oh my god. Do you know when, like, in Cutie Pie, when Kua discovered the documents but he didn't say anything? And Lien kind of knew something was up because he was like leaning away from the kiss. But Kua was like, I'm just sick, I'm going to bed. So Lien kind of bought it, right? And he thought they would chill for a bit until Kua like stomped up and was like, I know everything. There's none of that with this. Tien is making it absolutely 110% fucking clear that he has got a problem with the chief. <laughs> It is like Alaska cold right now between the two of these guys. The looks they are giving each other. The chief knows he fucked up. He just doesn't quite know how he fucked up. Although he might guess it from that because he worded it the same way that the dad did.
คงถึงบ้านละที่นี่ปลอดภัยแล้วโอ้โหหัวหน้าไม่มีหน้าที่เลยที่นี่อีกกลับไปเถอะเป็นอะไรคุยกันก่อนคุณรู้จักพ่อผมได้ยังไง Well, at least he's confronting him about it pretty damn quick, unlike Kua, who took like five episodes. Damn. Damn. You got so mad at him for lying to you this whole time, and you've been lying too. คนอย่างผมอะไม่มีเวลามาสอนใครต้มน้ำตักผ้าหรือกระเทียมเดมขอบคุณมากนะครับหัวหน้าภูผาเดมคุณเล่นบทฟูลไทเอลอยู่คนนี้โคตรดีเลยไว้ผมจะบอกพ่อให้นะงั้นคุณก็เตรียมตัวกลับบ้านได้แล้วหมดเวลาสนุกละ Why are you acting like that man ทำไมทุกคนถึงคิดว่าการที่ผมมาเป็นครูที่เนี่ยมันเป็นเรื่องน่าสนุกวะแล้วคุณจะบอกว่าลูกคุณหนูอย่างคุณน่ะเห็นทุกอย่างที่นี่เรื่องจริงจังอย่างนั้นเหรอแล้วคุณไม่เห็นสิ่งที่ผมทำเหรอ Why is he acting like that? You should be like begging him for forgiveness right now. ในเมื่อทุกคนเห็นว่าสิ่งที่ผมทำมันเป็นแค่เรื่องน่าสนุกเพราะฉะนั้นจะยังไม่กลับเทียนหัวหน้ามีหน้าที่ดูแลผมก็ดูแลไปเพราะผมยังสนุกไม่ได้เข้าใจ the chief has gone like back to square one like เทียน just just give me a freaking second like เทียน is like Freaking out because he thinks that the chief's only taking care of him because of the dad and like it's his duty and stuff. And rather than be like, no, I, you know, I wanted to do these things for you or whatever. He's like completely backtracked as if the last seven episodes or so of them like being cute and fluffy together never happened. And he's just agreeing with it and going, well, yeah, it was my job. Like all these things I did for you. And he's gone back to being like this cold-hearted person. I don't understand it. I thought he was like. I thought he was like catching feelings for Tian, no. And feeling like it wasn't out of duty or anything. I don't get it. Unless he's like lying. To try and get him to go home, but again, why would he do that if he liked him? It makes no sense. He his character just did like a fucking one eighty. Come, Hab, can I marry your son? <laughs> They should just get married. It would be fine. Didn't I say the same about Kua and Dia? I was like, they should just get married. <laughs> mm. And even if the chief is being honest and it is just duty and for the dad and stuff, surely he doesn't think that Tian is just here for fun. He has to have seen that he's taking this seriously. Karma and Long Tae, man, they're great. Like he blames himself for giving the keys to his friend, right? But there's no way he could have known that something like that was gonna happen. He is entirely faultless.
ไปส่งเนี่ยก็เป็นเด็กฝากเองทำไมมึงไม่จะคิดบอกกูสักคำวะคำสั่งผู้ใหญ่วะมึงจะบอกว่าที่มึงดูแลเขาเป็นพิเศษเนี่ยก็เป็นคำสั่งของผู้ใหญ่วะหุยกูไม่เชื่อมึงหรอกมึงอ่ะไปพูดจาหมาหมาไปเขาแบบนั้นนะเขาไม่ไปฟ้องพ่อวะจริงๆอธิบายเขาดีๆก็ได้ถ้ากูพูดดีๆคนแบบเนี้ยคงไม่มีทางยอมแล้วไงวะพอมึงพูดจาหมาหมาใส่เขาอะสุดท้ายมึงต้องมานั่งเจ็บเองเปล่าวะมาถึงขนาดนี้แล้วนะเว้ยมึงเคยเป็นแบบนี้ที่ไหนละ่ะกูว่าน้องเพียนเองก็ดูแคลมึงเหมือนกันนะมึงอะ่ะอยากทำอะไรก็ทำไปเลยเว้ยจะได้ไม่ต้องมานั่งเสียใจทีหลังเข้าใจปะที่มันไม่มีทางเป็นไปได้อะก็ขอให้จบแค่นี้เถอะวะปัญหาคลาสสิกวะดอกฟ้ากับหมาวัดโอเคเรื่องของมึงมาเปียกเลยค่ะ Feel like I have to pause it after every scene to process what is happening. <laughs> so he was harsh, deliberately, on purpose, and really cold like that, and did the character 180. That was all on purpose to try and make Tian leave, and he's probably trying to make Tian leave because. A, the dad wants him home, but B, as was mentioned, he feels like the relationship is impossible because, like, of who he is versus who Tien is and who Tien's dad is and their family status and stuff like that, right? Like, he's a rich kid that belongs in Bangkok and he's just this ranger out in the forest in a little village. So he feels like the relationship's impossible and it's better for him to just Tien to just go and then the dad will be happy too and he'll have done his job and he can get over it that's like his thought process that's why he was like so completely 180 that solves all of that so we don't have to worry about that he does have feelings for Tien he is hurting right now because of how he had to act then and once again the doc is just on it like he was like like the chief was like yeah it was just my duty i was just following orders i had to do this and the doc was like i smell some bullshit <laughs> it's great man he's so clued in to like how everyone is feeling and what is going on he's awesome i love him thank god for him and thank god he speaks his mind when he notices these things too because he kind of knocks sense into people right hey stop it Just because I'm going through emotional damage right now doesn't mean you can get away with doing naughty things. I will, I will throw a tissue at you. Good girl. Okay. My cat's trying to jump out the window. It's fine. So the, the, this this kind of makes me feel better, right? Because. He's confirming that it's not just duty. It's not just the dad's orders. He does have feelings for him, and that's like why, like even the doc was like, "I've never seen you like this with anyone." Like this isn't just a job, right? They both know this isn't just a job. But now it's just about convincing 
the chief that actually something can happen between them and convincing the dad as well and just convincing Tia everyone just needs to listen to the doc honestly the doc knows what is up <sighs> Tien's being stubborn like the more he acts like this the more he's determined to stay so good on him again like he gets discouraged so much and he has so many obstacles thrown at him but he never stops trying like he just comes up with the next idea and he's just more determined to stay I love Tien man มันอยากไปอยู่บนปราสาทสวยๆรู้ๆมันก็เลยยอมยกหัวใจของมันให้กับน้องอินซีแล้วก็ปีของน้องอินซีเนี่ยมาติดไว้ที่ไหลแล้
He's he's just come so far, man. He's doing such a good job. I'm so proud of him. Ah, oh, we love you, Rang. We love you, Yod. We love you, Nam. You're all great. เขาก็มีหน้าที่ของเขาผมก็มีหน้าที่ของผมอ่ะพี่นั่นกดมันอยู่เหรอพี่หมอพี่หมอลองคิดดูนะคนที่เขาดูแลเราเทคแคร์เ
วแบบนี้คนอื่นเขาเป็นห่วงอะ่ะรู้หรือเปล่าผมมันไม่เป็นอะไรผมตั้งหาแหละที่คนจะเป็นจะตายแบบเนี้ยนั่งสิหัวหน้าถ้าหัวหน้าอยากให้ผมกลับบ้านเนี่ยหัวหน้าบอกผมดีๆก็ได้นะก็ถ้าผมทำแบบนั้นนะผมรู้ว่าคุณไม่มีทางยอมรู้จักผมอีกแล้วไงนะเชียนพ่อแม่คุณเป็นห่วงมากนะคุณไม่ต้องหัวหน้ามาประกบผมไงเรื่องนั้นน่ะผมรู้อยู่แล้วที่ผมอยากรู้อ่ะคือเรื่องของเรามากกว่าม,มันเป็นไปไม่ได้หรอกเทียนหัวหน้าหัวหน้าไม่อยากให้ผมอยู่ต่อแล้วเหรอทุกอย่างมันมีเหตุผลของมันหัวหน้าตัดเหตุผลออกไปก่อนได้ไหมอ่ะผมแค่อยากรู้ว่าหัวหน้ารู้สึกยังไงกับผมอ่ะ <coughs> มันยิ่งทำให้คุณลำบากใจเชื่อผมเถอะแค่หัวหน้าบอกผมมาคำเดียวอ่ะผมก็จะอยู่ที่นี่ต่อที่เหลือเดี๋ยวผมจัดการเองเห็นไหมคุณก็ยังไม่เข้าใจเข้าใจดิแต่ผมไม่สนนะ่ะใครจะยังไงก็ช่างอ่ะผมสนแค่อย่างเดียวอ่ะแค่หัวหน้าบอกความรู้สึกของหัวหน้ากับผมมาเทียนฟังผมให้ดีนะผมขออะไรอย่างนี้ได้ไหมรับปากผมถ้าคุณอยากให้ผมมีความสุขถ้างั้นผมอยากเห็นคุณกลับไปใช้ชีวิตอย่างที่คุณควรจะเป็นมากกว่าการที่คุณต้องทิ้งทุกอย่างในชีวิตแล้วมาอยู่ที่นี่กับผมคุณยังมีอนาคตที่ดีรออยู่เราถ้ามันเป็นแบบนั้นอะผมก็จะได้รู้ว่าคุณตอบแทนความรู้สึกที่ผมมีให้คุณข้อของผมนั่นคือความหวังดีอะก็หมดประกาศปฏิเสธเลยใช่ไหมครับพี่ really gonna leave I don't want him to leave Why does he have to leave Oh, Rang clapping as well. Oh, he's a sweetie. I'm in emotional turmoil right now, man. I don't want him to go at all.
it's that like sad feeling when you know something really good is coming to an end and you just want it to go on forever and i know that that's like what the characters must be feeling as well but like i'm feeling it too i don't want him to go back i feel like he's been happier here and more fulfilled here and achieved more he's actually living a life And the parents want him to go back to go to casinos and drinking and stuff again. It's just... <sighs> oh, my favourite people. We got the Doc, we got Long Tay, we got Rang. I just, I hate this idea that he's going to leave a life like this that he loves so much to go back to what he had before. And I hate the, that the parents can't see this. It's the same with Bad Buddy, right? I hated that the parents couldn't see how happy their kids were when they were together. Are you going to go up to the cliff? It's the last day of the year, right? Eh? Is he going to try and make Torfin's wish come true? Which I don't think we even know what it is. He mentioned the notebook like it might have been written in the notebook. But I don't know if we'll actually find out what it is. It's a nice gesture though, right? Imagine going to the hassle of counting a thousand stars and the idea that the wish comes true or whatever and rather than use it on yourself you like fulfill someone else's wish that's really sweet mm, bestie oh i love him so much he has the sweetest smile Why do I have a thing for the, the cute besties? Diao in Cutie Pie, and then Nemo in Evenson, and now this guy as well. They've been through a lot together too, from Long Tae keeping his secret through to like the Ghost Hill thing. They've been through a lot. Man, this show has been shorter than the other shows in terms of episodes but I feel like so much has happened pretty I would absolutely lose count and be like wait did I count that one <laughs> and it would be somewhere ridiculous like the 600 mark Hmm. ผมเนี่ยคิดใหม่กว่าผมผมทําทุกอย่างด้วยคุณอยากทําแล้วนะคุณจะเหลือแต่ข้อเนี้ยคือข้อสุดท้ายที่ผมจะตอบแทนให้
I'm glad they clarified what their relationship was, that she liked him romantically, but he thought of her as a sister. He did exactly what I said I would do. He got like to a really high number and then just like had to start over. เทียนผมเทียนถ้าผมทําไม่ได้อ่ะผมจะเอาความรู้สึกทีนี้มาใจใจผมได้ยังไงอ่ะผมจะใช้ชีวิตใครทดใช้แทนใครได้ผมรู
นี้เป็นของแม่ผมมันเขียนว่าหัวใจภูผา Oh, the ring does have significance. Interesting. He can't leave. <laughs> I specifically said that these shows need to have a happy ending, and they need to get together in the end, right? ไม่มีสิทธิ์อะไรเลยดูตัวก็ดีหัวหน้านาผมเจ็บอะหน้าผมก็เสียใจมากด้วยผมขอโทษนะเทียนผมก็ต้องขอโทษหัวหน้าเหมือนกันที่พูดจาไม่ดีต่อหัวหน้า You. การขึ้นไปอธิษฐานนิพพานบรรดาวเป็นสิ่งสุดท้ายที่ผมอยากจะทำให้สำเร็จเพื่อรอฝันคืนสิ้นปีผมจะลองหัวหน้านะครับขอบคุณนะครับเนโอ้ก็ I'm like I'm killing it What have I done <laughs> Ah There we go Kind of I don't even know what I pressed I was like freaking out man Oh my god man I get like this awful feeling that he has to go back and they're just gonna like I don't know is gonna be I swear to God, if they don't, if they don't stay together, I'm going to be furious with the people that recommended this to me, because I will not get over it. <laughs> I'm a wreck. <laughs> I'm a wreck. <laughs>
right now. I can't believe like the it started off like so beautiful and so stardew and then it went so dramatic and stressful and now it's like beautiful and stardew again but it's also like really sad i just love all the characters so much and it's just this horrible feeling feeling like it's gonna end and tian's gonna leave and I just don't understand the parents. Like, how can you see how happy your son is and how much he's accomplishing and doing stuff for himself and for other people? And he's living an independent life. You should be proud of that. And instead, you're trying to bring him back to a rich kid, entitled, moody, stroppy person who gives attitude to his mother, who, like, goes to casinos and gets drunk. Like, do you really want him to go back to that? I don't understand. For what? For a degree? It's just... I feel like the parents in these shows are just blind. And you can't even be like, yeah, well, they don't see, like, everything that we've seen in the show. That's not the point. I'm not talking about, like, they should see that, you know he would be happier there or whatever but when your your son is sitting there and telling you how fulfilled he is and how much he's done and like you can see the difference in him and stuff i don't understand why you would want to take that away we've got one more episode and i'm i'm so scared that this is not going to go the way i want it to go okay I want to say this now because I will probably disagree with myself later if the if in the next episode he, they end up splitting up and he goes back to Bangkok and I don't know it ends with some misty eyed romantic thing where they're both staring up at the night sky at the same time or something ridiculous like that I'm probably going to be really upset and I'll probably not be very happy however I want to say now that no matter what happens next episode no matter what happens next episode I love this show I love the characters I love the story I love it's just beautiful it's beautiful the music is beautiful the intros are beautiful the quotes are beautiful the the animation is beautiful the color scheme is beautiful drake is beautiful <laughs> i love earth and mix uh, as like a pairing they're beautiful i love this i love it so much and i'm so concerned it's not going to end the way i want it to end Because, like, when I say I want a happy ending, right, that's fairly ambiguous to a lot of people. When I know what I mean by happy ending, I want them to end up together and to stay together and live, like, their little life in the village and it would be perfect. And I think that they that's what they both want as well and they would be happy doing that, but they just feel forced apart or whatever. That's what I mean by happy ending, right? The couple gets together and they stay together at the end. And you get the feeling like they get their happy ever after. But probably for other people, there are other ways that the show can end that they would still consider it a happy ending or a happy story. Um, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. When I say happy ending, I mean they have to stay together. I don't know how I'm going to cope if he goes back to the sea. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like really stubborn and hot headed. I would just, I would know my own mind and I would just say, nope, I'm staying. Don't care what anyone else says. I'm happy here. Like, it's not even about staying for chief, right? Like, the chief was like, oh, you have to promise that you'll go back to the city. That's the life I want for you. Don't stay here just for me. Don't give up everything just for me. It's not just about him. Uh, I mean, a huge part of it is him, but it's also, like, the kids, and the teaching, and the village, and the tea leaves, and 
you know, everyone is like a family there, and Tien is part of that family. You know, he would be staying for Long Tae and Karma and Rang and Yod and Nam. Alright, I'm gonna watch the preview and then I think I'm gonna take a break for like 10 minutes. Um, I'll sort myself out again, ready for the last episode. <laughs> Let's watch the preview. Oh, I love these two. Proper Kua and Diao energy, proper besties energy. And other than Bad Buddy, which obviously had bad buddies in it, um, every show I've watched so far has had like this duo dynamic between two cinnamon roll characters. You had Kua and Diao, you had uh in Cutie Pie, in Even Sun it's Sun and Nemo. Um, they're really cute together, proper marshmallow energy, and then it's these two and this. I love that dynamic. I love it. Every cutie pie needs a cutie pie best friend. Okay. I am ready. I can handle anything. I don't believe a word that I'm saying right now. I disagree. I disagree with everything that just happened. And I was like, ready. I was like, I'm going to watch the preview and then take a break. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting emotional again just from the preview. I disagree with all of that. That's not the best ending you can have. That is like barely towards one of the worst endings that you can have. Oh, next episode is going to absolutely destroy my soul. <sighs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This this episode was rough. This episode was rough. You know what? I didn't even um in fact I'm deliberately going to scroll away from episode 10 so that I don't do the same now. I did not look at the thumbnails for episode 9 after I watched episode 8. I was sitting here bawling my eyes out in full screen thinking that I was 100% sure the chief was going to die from the preview they showed and the way that they treated Torfin's character at the beginning I thought it was going to be like he was the hornbill that was left behind you know and then he makes the wish and oh if I had just looked at these thumbnails look you see him in hospital okay this one's a bit dodgy but then you see him sitting up here and then you see them sitting together here I would have known that he would have been absolutely fine. So I've deliberately made it so I can't see the thumbnails for episode 10 because I, I, I don't want to get any spoilers and I also don't want to make any assumptions. I mean, we could see this is the teaser trailer thumbnail, which we saw in the preview. So that was like an hour and a half episode. It didn't feel like that at all. I was so engrossed in it. But that's what I didn't realise it was 10pm already. I've just spent the last like three hours sitting here in emotional distress, man. I'm so emotional. I'm so invested. Okay, I'm going to take a break and I will be back for the last episode. I feel like I say this every time I watch a show, but I don't know what I'm going to do once this ends, man. I feel... And I said it in Cutie Pie, I remember when... Lien was running up the steps to the secret house to um, go and talk to Kua in the last episode. I said, like, I don't want it to end. Like, I want them to resolve their conflict, but I don't want the show to end. And that's how I feel with this. I want the resolution and I want the happy ending, but I also don't want an ending. <laughs> how am I going to upload these episodes, man? I'm just going to have to chop out the last... 
in fact most of the episode because i've just been sitting here as an emotional wreck it's fucking embarrassing i feel like so weak <laughs> emotionally weak Even, like, my family have been concerned because they've been coming up and seeing me, like, upset and stressed. And like I said, when I watch TV shows and movies and stuff, it I'm not normally like this. So it's really unusual as well for them to see me get, like, so affected by something fictional. So they've never seen me like this either. So even they're concerned. They're just like, what what is happening? And it's so difficult to explain why these affect me the way that they do. I went from like not being able to finish one episode of a BL show to being like binging them in less than a week and just crying all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to witness my shame. <sighs> well, I'll be back after my break and we will finish this show. Okay, I'll be back. Bye.